Greetings and salutations, everyone. Crimson Nero here, and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Heroes. In the last episode, we started up the Dark Side story, or Team Dark story. It's not quite Dark Side because oh, they're not really Eggman's evil. They're more of just kind of the dark Whatever ones, I guess. I mean, you have you did have technically two anti-heroes from. Uh, you have two anti-heroes returning from Sonic Adventure 2, and then Omega's just well, Omega. I mean, Team Anti-Hero doesn't quite roll off the tongue quite as well as Team Dark, but, I mean, it still works, but... but uh, HELLO! <laughs> what was that?! <laughs> Amazing. Whee! No problem. Let's get... No! <laughs> I didn't do it. When? Ah, do not bump me that close to the edge. Yeah, the main. Uh, oh wait, I've already been over all this stuff in this game. <laughs> I was about to say the main gimmick of this uh, this stage is the uh, the blue pla uh, blue platforms that make you move faster when you're on them. But I'm like, oh wait, we've already done this. Yeah, that's gonna be a, a big thing about uh, the rest of the LP, is that I'm probably gonna end up repeating myself a lot, and I'm gonna have to come up with some different things for a conversation, because I can't really talk about game design stuff unless it's, like, specific to Team Dark's uh, story, which we've kind of already been over in the fact that just... Well, hey, it's... They're, they're longer stages, and they're a lot tougher enemies, and it's more focused on combat, that's about it. All right, looking good, looking good. Minus gravity detected. Gonna power up Shadow here. Ah yes, Shonic. I'm suddenly Sean and Connery, and we're not even playing Dark Side Story. We're actually playing uh, Team Sonic Story. Team Shonic. Style points. I always feel like switching over to uh, Omega, or actually any of the power characters when it comes to uh, <clears throat> hitting those switches on the walls is a good idea, just because I really don't know, I'm because like, I feel like if I just hit the uh, the B button with the speed character, half the time I would just go into the Rocket XL and just go wherever the game wants me to go instead of where I actually need to be going. Man, I sure I'm getting a lot of level up cores for Rouge. And that's fine because it gets me points, but I would really actually like them for Shadow and Omega, even though they are level 2, so really it's not that bad. Alright, now Shadow's level 3, and all I need to do is get Omega up to level 3. Yay. And now I have like no reason to actually use the uh, the tornado jump. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was really trying to home attack the enemy first, but I guess I'll just do the tornado jump automatically instead. That's fine. No, nah, it's fine. It's, it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Getting a little nervous there because of uh, how the how the weird hitboxes are on those lances. Like, seriously. Let's have Shadow handle this. Oh, wait, wait! 
Oh wait, Omega already has a level up. Never mind. We're good to go. Let's do this. When grinding, press the B button to accelerate and use the No, I missed the rings. I missed the rainbow rings. I could have gotten scores. Scores, man, scores. Technically, the points to scores? Yeah, I know. Well, so what? I can make fun of the English language if I want to. Well, I guess I'll just leave that enemy to be. It's fine, it's whatever. And that, I feel like that short, and that jump is sometimes a little, what? It's a little, sometimes a little too short, and what the heck just happened there? <laughs> I have no idea what is going on with these automatic loops, man. It's weird. It's weird, dude. Oh, man, that was a little nerve-wracking. I did not want that to actually end up resulting in my death. Bubble shield. Boop, boop, and boop. Oh, goody. You know what, on second thought, yeah. I'm gonna use fly formation. Wow, that does actually not work against the turtles. Okay. That's fine. I can get from here. <laughs> Did I almost get caught on that uh that box with the key in it? Really? Hooray for collision detection, am I right? <laughs> Come on. Rainbow rings! Yeah! <laughs> Gotta be stylish! Can we go for a two? Yeah! Awesome! And a one up! Awesome! Even better! And done! Wow, we're already taking seven minutes per stage and it's only act. or stage three. Hey, at least I got a lot of rings, right? Yeah, a B rank. I'm okay with that, actually. I'll take it. Alrighty, power plants. Let's do this. Wait, what? Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, darn it! I saw that trail of rings that... Oh, man, I, I don't think I've ever noticed that, actually. Or maybe I have, but... Very few times. Ah! Well, okay. <laughs> I guess the game just didn't want me to get a proper boost or anything. I mean, that's fine. Dishwasher, yes. Oh man, I could actually really go for playing the dishwasher right now. Seriously! Oh man, I love Scott Studios. Seriously. Dishwasher. Salt Sanctuary. Charlie Murder. Some fun games. Maybe I'll LP them at some point. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see! Oh man, I was having so much fun actually having leveled characters in the last stage, and now it's just kind of like, oh yeah, we're back to level one, or level zero technically. Where I can't kill things instantly with Thundershoot, or the homing attack, or really any move, to be quite honest. Unless it's Omega. Oh, hello, level up, Cora. I wasn't expecting you there, but hey, Rouge is now level three. So now we can just instantly destroy everything. 
Another level up core for Omega. Awesome. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. That was kind of neat. Chaos control. As soon as I see the girl, I'm the gold turtles. I'm just kind of like, yeah, nah, not right now. No, there's a level up core there. Ah, I could have gotten that level up core. No. Well, at least I got one for Shadow, and he's level three now. Man, I remember back in the day, I did not truly appreciate just how strong flight characters can get upon reaching level three. And oh man, after making the realization, ooh, I can never go back. Let's see, where's the thing? There's the thing. Turtle, turtle, turtle. And gold turtle. Am I not turtle enough for the turtle floor? Oh, that was a terrible movie. No, my rings! How dare you! I was doing really well, and then next thing you know, just someone had to be a party pooper and take all my rings. I need those to pay for college, man. No, that is not going to work! <laughs> Failure. What the? What the doodle? Ah, uh, you know what? Forget this. I'm just wasting time now. Turtle. 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 I forgot that you could actually one-hit KO them. What is this Pokemon? I'm surprised that you can one-hit, uh, destroy them. Uh... With a, I, with a level 3 speed character. Because, like, up until... Up until level 3, those things are kind of like some of the hardest defensive uh, enemies in the entire game. You know, besides the big guys that come in halfway through the game. You know what? Chaos Control! <laughs> Or Chaos Inferno, technically. If you want to, if you want to be, see, this is what I mean. Like, um, there'll be points in the game where uh, you'll just need to wait for things to activate again. Yeah. Boop, 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 boop. Wait, did he just? Did he fly up in the air and not die? Well, then. Uh, <laughs> Got it. <laughs> there sure are a lot of like collectibles and such in this region of the stage. Oh man, can we do this? Can we do this? Yeah, let's do it. Nice. And 
Lopsy daisies. Open it from here. We're on. Thunder Shoot at level 3 is just so good because you can control where it, do where it goes. It does a lot of damage if you know what you're doing. Yeah, and also it has... Uh, it has electricity uh, properties, thus allowing you to gather rings up. Like seriously, the Thunder Shoot at level 3 is so good! Man, why did I neglect playing as the spy, as the flight characters for so long when it came to me as a child? Like, seriously, I was young, I was stupid, what, I, I did not know what I was, I did not know what I was truly doing. Alright, we should be getting close to the end here, hopefully. I'll take it from here! You know what? Chaos Control. Exactly 2 minutes and 20 seconds. Interesting. You know what? Time is back to normal. Oh, and I got another Team Blast? Heck yeah! I probably won't be able to use it for at least a little bit here, but... Hey, if I can use it, I'll use it. But right now, this is the... the big thing. This part. Come on, grab the. <laughs> like, grab the thing. What? How did that not hit? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Due to the perspective, I can't necessarily see exactly where my characters are when it comes to grabbing those uh, those cords. Where am I going? Oh, there am I going. There I am going, yes. But the... Okay, just don't even grab onto the, the pulley, that's fine. Alright. Well, I guess I won't be using Team Blast, but I could have used it on that last group of enemies, but I didn't know that the end of the stage was literally right there. Hey, a B rank. Of cake. I'll take it. I will take it. Man, who are those creeps over there? What's up, SBO? Oh ho, it's new characters. What do you think you're doing here? Who's this fraud? Our client's adversary, perhaps. You mean the bad guy? You guys don't fool me. I know what you're after. Better stay out of my way. All right, combat time. Time to take on hey, Team hey, Chaotix. Hey, Here we go. Let us get we'll do this. No one's gonna stop me. Wow, did I already? I already took care of two of the. I have two of the two. Wow! Ha! All right, that'll end it off things for this episode of Let's Play Sonic Heroes. I'm Crimson Nier. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, everyone, fare thee well. Thank me for letting you live.